Hello YouTube. I'm just making a quick video to see if it might help people out there on SSDs and iPhone 15 Pro and iPhone 15 Pro Max. Here we go. Here we have an SSK one terabyte SSD thumb drive but it's not your typical thumb drive uh, this can sustain around 500 megabits per second read and write which is more than sufficient for 4k 60 ProRes HQ and any other codecs below that on the iPhone 15 Pro Max it's been checked as well with the Blackmagic disk speed test on my MacBook Pro uh, and um, it confirms and I've used it myself extensively and it works uh, from all my tests that's as far as I can tell you can see it's small it's light it comes in a USB A and you get one of these USB A to C 180 degree adapters and you're all set go that's what it looks like when it's connected and let's go to our iPhone 15 Pro Max which I have here uh, nice case made by Pitaka I have no affiliations with anybody or anything in this video everything was bought myself right so let's see what it looks like uh, you simply plug it in and it looks clean to me it looks good it's light does the job and it's about seventy dollars currently from Amazon or any other place you prefer. There is a two terabyte that seems to be becoming available at some point as well. But right now this is what's available. I think this is a great solution, but let's make sure it works. Let's go to the native camera app to start off. Video and if you can see there's a USB-C logo at the bottom which says that it's connected we have 136 minutes or so I may have some data on there already so that's more than two plus hours maybe closer to two and a half hours on a one terabyte pro 422 prores hq that's in 4k 30 uh, let's switch it to 4k 60 and now we're getting 68 minutes approximately which is more than an hour easily which in 4K60 should be uh, plenty for most people. Let's just make sure, go to the Blackmagic camera app and um, you, know, you have to set it up in the settings to connect with the SSD. So we go down to upload clips, save clips to files browse down to this one's untitled open 
and that's it and 1 hour 10 minutes 46 seconds available um, let's hit record and we'll leave it for a little while but from my experience it works well and it's small, portable, light and effective I'll put links of course in I don't get any affiliates I'm brand new to video making but hopefully this helps someone so I'll put in the links for everything that we talk about so that's it guys uh, oh wait you say you want more you guys alright let's uh, stop that recording and let's see what else can we do well let's give you something a little bit better or at least more storage here we have two terabytes also happens to be an SSK product um, I like I said I have no affiliation with them whatsoever but I seem to find the products fine uh, this is a USB A side and it also has a flip here which gives you a USB C and you can use either I of course am going to use that 180 degree adapter and that's what that looks like so let's go straight to connecting it to the iPhone 15 Pro Max we have and you can see it's looking good let's go straight into since we have the Blackmagic camera app we'll go to files to the new untitled and let's see what it says well we have 2 hours and 29 minutes and 16 seconds of recording time that's probably a little bit of data in there already so that's two and a half hours obviously of 4K 60 ProRes HQ which should be more than sufficient for most people let's just go to the camera app and hopefully you can see there it says USB-C 288 minutes that's in 4K 30, 4K 60, 144, 4K 24, 358 minutes. Ladies and gentlemen of ProRes HQ. All right, let's uh, record a little bit. They can see all working, and my experience it works fine. And the uh, read and write speeds are again 500, about 500 megabits per second read and write. All right, so that's a lot. Um, oh, you still want more okay let's see what I can do let's go in and give you something else here 
So here we have a $20, $25 approximately SSD case enclosure. Um, it's also USB-A and I have a um, 180 degree adapter A to C. Um, all will be in the links. You just open this guy, unscrew it, put in your Gen 3 SSD specifically. I can only talk about what's worked for me and that happens to be a crucial Gen 3 SSD with this particular setup because the iPhone 15 Pro and Max are very finicky and sometimes does not connect with some newer SSD enclosures and drives. So this is a crucial 3500 megabits per second speed up and up and a little lower down. Um, you just unscrew this, put it in, close the screw, four screws. Uh, you can put a, a sticky heat sink in there uh, that comes with it. And now we have four terabytes. Theoretically, I think you could even put eight terabytes, but that would be very expensive. The four terabyte crucial cost me 180, so $180 approximately on Amazon and or wherever you like. Let's see what this looks like on the iPhone 15 Pro Max. Connected, um, not sure if you can see. But there is also a, uh, you probably can't see it, but there's an LED blue light that lights up as well to show it's connected. It's nicely flat on this phone. And now we have four terabytes. I removed my SSD from this particular device uh, to use elsewhere but I have used it and it works. The um, speeds uh, on the Blackmagic disk speed test on the Mac show the SSDs about 1500 and in read and around 500 on write megabits per second which is again sufficient for what we're talking about 4K60 ProRes HQ. So there we go. Um, let me give you another example if you like something that looks a little different or a little more a bit of a change. This is an open enclosure. Um, I'm not sure of the terminology but you get the components in there to put the SSD but it's open so you have to put a heat sink which I'll also add in the links there and then you screw it together and your SSD is in there underneath there uh, I don't have it in here either because like I said I removed it to use elsewhere uh, but it works with this particular combination uh, another A to C um, 180 degree adapter this one's a little wider if you have some sort of wider iPhone case but in my case it's a very low profile case and I just connect it up here and you see the blue light hopefully and it's a little looser because of this connector but it's good enough and we'll just um, I mean I don't have the SSD in there but it works that particular combination yet again with that crucial SSD I mentioned alright and I've got one last one for you guys if you're a little crazy like velcroing stuff to your case your iPhone 15 brand new case this is a new the cases enclosure that I bought uh, it's more for use with your Mac or PC 
uh, the the older cases ones don't seem to work but this new one that I bought for some reason works with the iPhone connects and works with the iPhone 15 Pro Max uh, what's good about this is it's extremely fast uh, on your PC or Mac uh, with that same crucial SSD which I have in here right now I'm on the Mac or PC I get 30 over 3000 megabits per second and 2500 megabits per second write uh, which is decent uh, again sufficient for your iPhone 15 Pro Max or Pro it comes with a Thunderbolt 4 cable which is nice doesn't cause any issues uh, let, let's connect this one up just to just to see well, let's go to the camera app and as you can see in case somebody is not sure about my statement you see it says USB-C see if I hit record it's recording to the SSD in the cases case So that's all good to go as well. And it works with the Blackmagic camera app. Just to give an example, uh, I'm not sure if you can see it clearly there, but this 4 terabyte, which is partially filled, let's put it to 4K60, has nearly 300 minutes of 4K60 ProRes HQ. So that's pretty much overkill, I think and my personal recommendation is that one terabyte seventy dollar SSK that we started with uh, this one is your best bet and if you need more buy two or move up to the two terabyte and that should take care of most of your needs I hope this helped somebody out there and this is Technorama out. Peace.